Hey y'all, it's me. I got a quick word for you. Now, somebody probably won't ask me to do this. I gotta get another request. <laughs> but, God had me watch the movie Dream Girls last night. And he does this with me ever so often. And the request, I know that somebody going to say, they're going to want me to do a review of this movie. I ain't really going to do it because I really didn't see <laughs> the point of doing the entire film. But God gave me some specific revelations that I felt were good to drop as nuggets because God's talking right now. Lord, give me wisdom is how you want me to say this because... I got some revelations for myself, but Jesus help me. Anyway, the revelation that I got is God is putting us in the right place at the right time. If you recall in the beginning of the film, Dina's character comes running in. Talking about, I was late. My mama wouldn't go to sleep. Blah, 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 blah. One, if anybody has noticed, seemingly what the enemy is doing is sitting amongst you to monitor you and therefore prevent you from getting where you need to go. That's number one. Two, then you'll be released in just the nick of time. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about 11th hour miracle. I know it doesn't look like nothing's going to happen, but it's 11th hour miracle. Next, being in the right place at the right time. Uh, Lady Jeremiah done just released a word talking about serendipity and being in the right place at the right time. There's a couple other people that I know. You're going to be in the right place at the right time. God's going to orchestrate your steps that you're going to be where you need to be. Next. Um, the girls show up. Now, this is what we're talking about. I'm only here for what happened with Effie and Dina. Okay. Now, y'all know I'm just about over talking about these counterfeits. Okay. And let me just let you know, it's pretty much over with them. <laughs> I've been seeing 932 and 933. Jesse was deposed. Jesse was thrown out. Jesse's own people tossed her out the window, okay? <laughs> Let it go. But this is what the Lord showed me. Because I didn't want to do this movie specifically because of a whole lot of betrayal that was going on in this situation. But then it dawned on me. And I'm going to explain to you what dawned on me. Number one, Effie, main character. She felt like she deserved the spot. That it was her purpose to be the number one lead because she got the best voice. So she moved at the pace she wanted to move, which was color people time. And... She was operating like, this is my spot. I ain't got to worry about my spot. And Dina was always the one that was encouraging. The encourager of the group. When they went out there and they did their performance and then they found out that they didn't win. She's like, what are we doing this for? And she's like, you and she got to tell everybody their purpose. You're the encourager. You're the person that sees the best and the bright side out of everything. That's you. All right. But at the same time, there are things. God knows who he called you to be. But the counterfeit think that they got this spot. I'm here. So I have the spot. I'm the one. I have the spot, but they're not the one. Effie thought she was unmovable. 
even Dina and um, Laurel had to come to her in order to get approval to even go with Curtis to do the backup. Right place at the right time. Humbling yourself to take the position that God gives you because the door will come after and Shantia Deja just did a word talking about the door isn't going to look like a door you want. Because Effie was talking about, I don't do background. But they're like, come on. We just lost. Look at what happened. God will present. You will think that other thing. They were just looking for, ooh, a week of engagement singing at this club. They didn't just get a week of engagement singing at this club. They got what? They were doing backgrounds for somebody that was the equivalent of James Brown at that time. <laughs> okay? And they were doing how many engagements? I think they were on a 12-week tour or something like that. Next. Dina. Dina, if you notice... She didn't never really say nothing. This is what the spouse does. You are not to be out there talking. God is your defense system, okay? God is your defense system. Notice, if you paid attention in the film, that you saw Laurel was the one. She ended up with messing around with uh what's his name jimmy early and you saw her messing with him so next you saw effie and she was hugged up on curtis but you never saw dina you didn't see her doing nothing all you ever saw her doing was being about her business some of y'all have been walking with God, being about your business, ain't paying nobody no daggone attention, okay? Laurel sitting up there screaming about she just been with Jimmy and uh, Curtis sitting up there talking about, um, not Curtis, but Effie sitting up there talking about, I got Curtis. And what was Dina doing? Sitting there being about her business. She was more concerned about business than she was about their little la da 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 love and romances. She was trying to make sure that everybody was on point. She had a level of maturity in the situation that they did not. And the thing about it was they got the group. You, the ordained spouse, the one that God chose, it didn't matter that Effie was the best singer out the group. God said, Dina, you the one that's coming up. There are people in these situations that the person that was there thought, sure, I got this guy. This is my person. This is my spot. I'm definitely going to come up. Um, Stephanie P did a video. They want to marry you for the come up. These counterfeits was determined. They was like, oh, I got this spot. I'm in it. I'm with the person. There ain't no way. They got overzealous, whatever it was. Okay. They thought that they had their position. But notice. They were saying that Dina was sleeping with Curtis. Effie had to scream at the top of her lungs, you sleeping with him. But did you ever, until after they were married, see her sleep with him? I need you to really think about that. You never saw her in any intimacy with that man. You saw 
him watching her. Am I making sense? Is it starting to become clear? He was looking at her. It's not that she didn't notice he was looking at her. Uh, I've been hearing peeking through the lattice windows. It's from Songs of Solomon. You got a day spouse been watching you. I can name to you about 15 words. Some people done did the word about three, four times over, over the past couple of years saying this man has been watching you. These men were watching you and how you carry yourself, you. And they could tell the difference because the person that thought they had the spot thought they were secure. They thought that, oh, I got this. I got this. This is my spot. And just like that, Effie was where? Effie, you doing backup? Dean is elite. There are people, I don't care what career field you're in, because you know, I talked about this in um, Save the Last Dance, that the industries, the places, the spaces, wherever it is, it's like high school. People trying to click together, people trying to be the popular group, people, yeah. I don't care what industry you can be at your work. You can be at your job. You have a essence of God upon you. The Holy spirit is on you. And because the Holy spirit is on you, what it is, is there have been people that have been in that place. They've been women that have been in that place. There are people that have been all up around and they just, they just was clamoring for that spot. It's like, can I, can I get, even if it wasn't the fact that they were looking so much for the relationship, they wanted the spot because that means they had the ability to have the clout of being able to speak that they were in it. But look at Dina. Dina didn't say nothing. Dina kept her mouth shut. The only moment that you may have suspected Dina was up to something was the fact when she said, Boys like shyness. And let me tell you something. A real man that's paying close attention can read through false flattery. Okay. And some of these women was using false flattery and honoring and admonishing just to get in. And as soon as they got where they wanted to be, or at least thought they were close enough, they dropped the whole act. Started disrespecting these men just like Effie did, thinking that she had her spot. I can show up. I can do what I want, be loud, wrong, do whatever. What you going to do? Remember, she when they went to American Bandstand, she was sitting up there, what you going to do, Curtis? I'm the, I'm the one. What you going to do? That's what I thought. That's the way a lot of them have been. Dina ain't say not one word, even when she was yelling at her. Over Curtis. It's like, everybody knows you're sleeping with her. Blah, 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 blah. There are people, and this is the thing that y'all going to have to work, look out for. Because when God moves you into position, and Stephanie P. did a video a long time ago about this, that because of how fast you're going to get into that position, there are going to be people say, oh, sh she was sleeping with him. You never saw Dina sleep with Curtis until after they got married. There's not one scene that even inquired that she was touching on him. When Effie was going off, where was Dina? Standing there to the side, trying not to look upset. This is what happens when a counterfeit recognizes real, okay? Because you do not have to sit there and act loud, scream, holler, fuss, say all this stuff to make a big to-do. Not necessary. I did that, that uh, 
written write up posts and I think I did a video talking about the fact that royal people you sit there in your elegance and don't even entertain it they will yell at you scream at you holler at you say all this kind of stuff at you because they're bothered by your presence so they will project on you what she doing this they will spread lies amongst the community. They will do all of this kind of stuff. But did you ever see Dina step out of her position? And what happened? Effie standing there watching Curtis pull Dina forward. You're going to be called forward into the position wherever your position is and the lord is allowing it allowing that individual to do so and the ones that were there just came in for that spot are going to be lividly angry with you because guess what they've been there for years and it's gonna be like you walk in the door and you're gonna be ushered right into the position that you were supposed to be in making up for time lost And then Effie gets called out on it because she kept missing shows and kept missing shows. These individuals kept acting up and kept acting up and kept acting up to a point that the person wasn't, wasn't listening to it no more. It was funny. I was looking at something on Facebook this morning and they said that people don't need to worry about the people that walked away. Don't, don't end what God is doing within you. Because of the fact that this person is acting up. Because they probably acted that way. So God was giving them the ability to move out the way. She was moved out the way. She was like, I'm staying. I said, some of y'all, the counterfeit was determined to stay. And it got to a point where it was like, oh no, you're not staying. And God said, Vashti, goodbye. Esther 119 and 120. Is it 119 to 120? Or? Yeah. Goodbye. Gone. <laughs> so you will be put where you're supposed to be. Because what did we see after that? Rapidly. It went from that to Dina taking her position, the new group put together. Uh, they got TV shows, this, that, the other things. They're going to, to news reports and this on this show and that show and this show and that show. And Dina is now what? Married to Curtis. And Effie is off in the East Jiblippi somewhere. What's my point? God's going to elevate you in spite of what they think that they thought was going to happen. And it's going to happen so fast. Dina didn't have that much time before she went from being little old regular little Dina to the superstar lead of the group. Married to Curtis. God is moving and he moving fast. It will happen so fast. Whatever your position is, it will look like I, what I'm seeing. I'm going to tell you what I see. I see you getting in the spot. And once you're in the spot, you are literally going to be put in almost a seat that is about to be catapulted forward like a rocket. And they're going to tilt the seat backwards and you are counting down to when you take off. Because literally, once you're there, you about to take off. So, that was my revelation for you. For this movie. Uh, I don't think there was anything else. Be cautious of the fact that I'm going to be starting to put a lot more posts in the community section. Because I don't know how often I'll be making videos. But, go into my about section, I have a whole podcast that I'm sure a lot of y'all haven't even been watching. 
or listening to, go over there. It's there. Tons of episodes. And I will probably update that faster than I will update this channel most recently or in the coming months. So be aware. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm able to get back to you guys. But if you want to see, there's a ton of content over there. And plus, I'm doing some stuff. So um, I'll post it in a community post. If at most, when it's ready, I'll come on and say what I got to say. But right now, I'm currently in a phase where I'm listening to the Lord's instruction. I can't even say what I think I'm going to do because of the fact that I don't know what God's about to do. And because of that, I don't know how that's going to affect what I thought I was going to do. If you understand. And if you walk with God, you know what I'm talking about. So keep your eyes open, keep your ears open and get ready because God's about to move. It's going to be sudden, quick, swift. Look up Isaiah 48, 3 and 5. Suddenly it will happen what I promised you. All right. So until next time.